I think that unfortunately, a lot of people don't appreciate or understand that this is a television program. I think that, you know, they look at it like this is a wrestling show. Yes, it's a wrestling show, but it's also a live weekly television program every single week. And I don't know if everybody really can figure that out. Yeah, it's, the, the, you always hear internally, it's like, hey, we're making movies. That's what WWE prides themselves on is yeah. it's an entertainment company. So, so much of what they're trying to do, they're trying to make a live movie, basically. They're trying to get the, the star in the right position and blocking has got to be perfect. How do you get all the camera angles? They want it to look as polished as humanly possible. So then on top of that, commentary has to be on point with every little incremental step in the show. And that's a real challenge. And I've talked about it before is that it's live narration. And it's, I always think of it as like, imagine you're doing a, a scripted TV show, any scripted TV show. And it's like, yeah. uh, we'll give you the gist, but we're not going to show you the script, but there is a script, but you're not going to see it. It's like, <laughs> hold on a sec. I have lines like, oh yeah, but you're going to have to learn that as the years go on and understand what fits where. So it's really, really challenging. And that's just professional wrestling as a whole. You need to know where to put certain stories. So what does your day look like? Let's say raw, for example. So you show up on Monday. What does your day mm -hmm. look like leading up to being live on TV? Um, start off with the production meeting and just kind of get the general idea for the show. And, and those things can change and fluctuate through the day. So you just, you can't really get tethered to too many concrete ideas. It's the thing that I learned, you know, as I began my career, my notes pages were gigantic. And then they slowly, slowly shrunk because you just had to know things off the top of your head and you had to be able to adapt. You had to understand that this segment could change entirely. The talent could change. The finish could change. Yeah. Um, the traffic in regards to what we're going to do, like what ads are we throwing to? What um, community outreach program are we promoting that month? So many different things that if I'm tied to something in my head of like, oh, this is my lead in or this is what I'm going to say, you're dead in the water. You have to be able to adapt. Mm. Give us a few of the words that you were not able to say on air in WWE. Um, I think the, the obvious ones are, um, you know, you always refer to the fans as the WWE universe. So you don't call them fans. Um, you don't call them the crowd or the audience or something. It's to build an idea of community. And that's how WWE brands it. So even if you heard me calling, you know, hard to kill for impact, I think at the point where a, um, a prosthetic leg was thrown in the ring in the impact world title match, I said a member of the impact zone. So I'm still... <laughs> <laughs> stuck in it and it's still like oh i can say crowd i can say fan um and it's just little things like that um obviously pro wrestling they avoid that because they, they avoid that so now i can talk about that pretty openly so there's just little things that because of the way they want to position their product they ask us not to say so it's like okay you know you're signing the check that's fine <laughs> I had heard that it was always first name, last name. You had to say John Cena, Roman Reigns. It was never Reigns hit a spear or Cena with the F. Or um, F -U no, or no, I never experienced that. I, one thing I was taught um, by, uh, by Cole and a number of other tenured announcers was just don't refer to guys strictly by their first name. Because if it's in any form of combat sports, you wouldn't say, you know, if it's Jorge Masvidal, you're not being like, oh, Jorge hit him. It's like, it just sounds too casual. And yeah, too, or Tom with a great touchdown pass. Right, too. It sounds too friendly and like you guys are tight. And it's like, no, Masvidal hit him. You know, that's how you're supposed to deliver it. So you either go full name, nickname, or last name. That, that was the way I was always taught it. And I completely agree with that. 